Hey guys, so far I'm just going to take a quick look here at the brand new Android Fubando Lollipop, the image which you can now flash for your Nexus device. Google now has released these uh, official images and the, they also released an over the air update for uh, Android 5.0. No. Yeah, Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Nexus 5 over here. So this is how it looks like. So, I mean, of course, just as the developer preview here in the beginning, but uh, let's see here, what is this? Yeah, so you can see you have two pages here. Uh, you have slides and some other things here, pre-install, play music. I don't think we got all of those like two pages in the developer preview. Uh, but you can see here the kind of like the version that we're talking about over here is the, um, it's the uh, LRX210 or 210 I think it could be. So you can just double tap on that one of course to be a, become a developer here, enable USB debugging if you wanna tweak around with that. Uh, I definitely will speed test this one uh, against other operating systems and uh, see that, but uh, you need to do like a fresh install of this one uh, to get the full speed here, uh, or you can definitely get some problems. You need to like wipe cache and, and uh, those things in twerp if you do install this. Uh, you can see here, you can of course see this new um, control center here uh, with uh, these toggles, location, airplane mode, flashlight. As you can see, it's uh, fully working here. Great stuff. Uh, you can still see here that the boot down screen is still a little bit boring here, only a power off section, which kind of feels like they should upgrade, uh, update that one. Kind of see here the um, the sounds working good. Uh, priority mode here, which you can tweak. Uh, you of course have this cool mode here in Android Fabio where you can have different user accounts. Of course, you can also lock down a specific app to one user, uh, which is definitely very very nice. You can see of course these uh, cool animations overall, uh, and definitely one of the more cool things I think definitely is the. Uh, the multitasking, uh, multitasking view here, which is very, very snappy and uh, very, very cool. So let's open up the camera app here the first time. Sure, do that. Uh, okay, so you can swipe here on the side, of course, to um, get some quick toggles. Uh, you can do, go down here to also get some quick settings here for video mode. Uh, here you can have these uh, these lines here, so it might be a little bit easier to to take a picture. You can turn off flash uh, or enable it, disable it, have it automatic, and then then of course you can just go here to the front facing camera as well. Uh, you can turn on HDR mode, which is gonna create a little bit bigger pictures, but I think the light might be a little bit better. You have a quick little timer here, countdown three seconds or 10 seconds, which I think is pretty pretty similar to what you do get in Apple's uh, iOS. So we have a lot of new security features and stuff like that, and I haven't signed in here, but you can see the me new menus here also, uh, when you do sign in, uh, and it should definitely have some better security. Uh, this version here of Android, easier to make uh, backups and, and encryption and stuff like that. Uh, you of course see here, you can quickly change wallpapers. You can see a bunch of different new wallpapers in here. A little bit sucky though, I still think that they don't focus still, uh, they don't focus almost nothing at the, the live wallpapers. And I think that they should definitely put some more effort into that. Uh, also have a ton of these widgets over here in this section. And they are, shouldn't be located in here now. You can't get access to them in here. So of course you can see that they completely don't have a back key and a multitask button. So if you wanna have menu key, uh, menu in apps, if you have a big phone now sometimes, you're gonna have that little menu key. And it could suck if you have a very, very big phone. It could be a little bit complicated. So you can see here, uh, the menu key, for example, in Google Chrome, it's up here, you tap, and if you have a big phone, if, in a, if it was down here, now it's gonna be 
like up here and there's also yeah it uh, could be a little bit bad sometimes uh, i definitely do enjoy the keyboard here it looks very very gorgeous So you can see here the speed is good, speed is great. Now Google Chrome has always been a little bit laggy. Whoa, wait a sec. Android 5.0, 5.1 5 leaked during conference. New build powers Nexus 5. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so Android 5.1, you can kind of expect that to come maybe here in the future. That's definitely pretty sweet. Let's see here if we can go into settings here and uh, quickly see the things that I didn't have a look at. Apps, tap and pay. Accessibility developer options, backup and reset. Great that they do have uh, good options for that. User section, you can also access it in there. Uh, you do have some interesting things here. After 30 seconds, I always change that one. And you can also go here quickly to the battery here by tapping up here on the battery icon. You can quickly access that little area so that can be interesting so you can have a quick little look there uh, so yeah just a quick little look here uh, on this brand new update here uh, for uh, or under the lollipop here on the nexus 5 hopefully did enjoy this quick little tour uh, i definitely might do more videos uh, so um, yeah have an awesome day peace out